Hi, this is John from the Hovercam, and today I'm going to talk about Great Central, but I'm going to be talking about a special aspect of Great Central, and that is the ability of admins to oversee uh, teachers and, and who is actually using Great Central at either a district or school level. Now, this video isn't necessarily about how to use Great Central to grade. This is really more about how to use Great Central if you're a district admin or a school admin. So if you're a teacher and you're looking to grade, you might want to check out one of the other videos. But for this video, uh, this is in particular for those people that are at that district level or that the school admin level that really need to manage who, who gets to use Grade Central and who doesn't. So what you would do is you download Grade Central just as normal, just the same Grade Central that everybody else uses. But when you log in as an admin, you'll see something like what I'm showing here on the, on the screen. Uh, now I'm at on a district level right now and I only have one school so far so on the left I have my schools and so I got Smallville High School right here when I click on that it'll show me the admins that I currently have at Smallville and I've got one admin over here but I could add more so by clicking on the new admin button to the lower right I could add in more admins uh, you know what whatever I want to do and I can activate or deactivate them the passwords automatically set to one two three four unless that admin should change it. So I've got one admin at this particular high school that I'm overseeing in my district. If I want to see what teachers I have, I would select my admin and then down at the lower right again I have teachers button. When I click on that, that will show me the teachers that are in my school within my district. Now these teachers will automatically appear if they enter when they're registering, if they enter the same district and same school that I have for my admin screen. So in other words, if they enter that Smallville High School when they're registering, they'll appear on this list. Now that's the easy way to do it, is to have your teachers at your school and district just go ahead and enter the same information so they automatically appear on your list. They'll automatically appear with under activate as true okay so that means that they're they're active if I wanted to disable somebody if I said oh this guy shouldn't be using Great Central I, I click on the uh, pencil to the far right and edit that person and I can deactivate that person's account so they're not using up one of my licenses now what will happen is ideally all of your teachers will go ahead and register themselves you can add them using the new teacher button to the lower right and again it's just a few simple fields uh, the ID the first name last name and email address uh, and these are all uh, optional fields you do need to have an email address in there but they're there they're, you don't need to have an ID necessarily to leave that blank if you wanted to uh, but ideally they would be entering themselves and anybody that it doesn't enter themselves you could enter for them then from the person that you bought it from or from pathway itself will send you a school license and one school license will be good for whatever number of people you have purchased uh, for Great Central so if it's uh, 20 uh, then we'll send you one license for 20 people or if you should buy a site license we'll, we'll give you uh, you know whatever number of, of teachers you happen to have at that school and at the bottom here that's where you'll enter in your school license number and I'm just gonna put in a dummy number there but I would enter in that school license number, hit the button, and that will actually activate the accounts for the teachers that you have marked to true. Anyone that you set to false, they're not going to have an active account. Then that way you can kind of manage who is using it, who isn't. If a teacher should be let go or change schools or change position, you have all that at your fingertips to, to manage. Okay, I think that should make sense, but let's go back to the school list. And remember, I have this admin over here, Keith. Now, Keith also has an admin level, but he's a level below me because I'm a district admin. Keith is a school admin. So let me show you what Keith's login looks like. So I'm going to close out Grade Central, and I'm going to open it again just so you can see it from Keith's perspective. So here I'm going to log in his... Uh, email was this kind of funny email that I made up and you'll kind of see the difference here 
So Keith doesn't have a list of schools to the left. He just sees those teachers that I saw when I clicked on Keith's name and clicked on that teachers button. But he can do sort of the same thing that I was able to do uh, on the district level. He can go in and deactivate or activate people or change their email or their name or what have you and just update it. So Keith, again, he has admin privileges, but not privileges for every school that's in the district. And, and again, also, he can update the school licenses down at the bottom of the screen. So it's really pretty easy to manage people, but again, it's a different aspect to Grade Central. You don't necessarily use uh, you know, the grading side of it or any of that stuff. I can't grade with this account necessarily, but I don't think you, you, would, you would need to. If you need to grade, of course, we can just add yourself on the list as a, as a teacher using a different email address and, and log in that way. Okay, well, I hope this video was informative, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, you can drop us a line at support at thehovercam.com uh, or visit our website at www.thehovercam.com. Thank you very much.